how do you develop a millionaire mindset? Because your mindset becomes your money set. I've invested the last 50 years studying, personally interviewing, and being with self-made millionaires, sent millionaires, and billionaires. I did that because I wanted to become one of us. I am many times over now. I know that poverty belongs in only one place, a museum. I've helped countless others do the same or more. You will learn that your mindset, as I'm going to keep saying, creates your money set and you can develop your mindset. In my best-selling book called One Minute Millionaire that I wrote with my dear friend Bob Allen, which sold 3.6 million copies, we did seminars that were overflowing with 4,000 people over 40 weekends a year for three years. And we said we'd create a million millionaires. And there's one right, perfect, easy, acceptable way for everyone to become a millionaire. And it's two books in one. It's a right-hand side of your brain and the left-hand side of your brain. But what happened is we had a woman come to our seminar and we taught her the butterfly effect. And the butterfly effect is a little change is a big change. And she'd been fired by Perry Como at 60 years old as a singer, even though he was going to continue just because of her age. Well, she came to us and she didn't have any money. We said, well, why don't we make you test case? And in three months, 90 days, we will make you a net millionaire, which we did. And that was the basis of this whole thing. So here, I'm going to teach you the seven basic habits. And habit is something that you just keep doing. But a habit is something you learn. <clears throat> you learn how to walk. You learn how to ride a bicycle. Perhaps you've learned to ski or you've learned to swim. Right? Those are all habits. And these will help you potentially become ultra wealthy, happy, rich in every good way, if you employ them positively and correctly. It is said that there's more millionaires alive right now than at any time in history. I think that's true. Forbes magazine said there's 22 million millionaires and 3,000 billionaires in America. And they're run younger than ever because of social media. Like on one of the YouTubes, I talk about Mr. Beast, Jimmy Donaldson, who's got 200 million YouTube viewers. And last year earned a salary in residuals from YouTube of $52 million. Grandma Moses, as you may remember, said to keep out of mischief at age 77, she started painting. And by the time she was 101 years old, she was earning a million three hundred thousand dollars per painting. And her only wish was she lived her dream earlier. Now, it takes fearless self-determination, self-initiative to action to learn how to develop a millionaire mindset. It takes a growth mindset that loves the idea of hard work directed toward a destiny that is personally meaningful and important. My research and experience says that almost everyone has the intrinsic potential to learn how to develop a millionaire mindset and use these principles. Number one. Self-made millionaires are information sponges. They are forever and always learning to earn more. You got to learn, earn, and then return. Many have an academic education, but all that I've met have a self-help action library of books, movies, and audios, and generally to their industry and specifically to what their business is. And each person reported to me that they listened to or read self-help action information at least one hour a day. You do that consistently for 250 workdays a year, that's 250 hours of learning. That becomes, over a couple of years, a college-like course. They also learn new words, because you've watched my videos on new words. The size of your vocabulary determines the size of your thinking. They talk to successful people who push the edge of their envelope and personally push themselves to master a new skill on a regular basis. Let's just do myself as an example. When I started speaking, I studied all the great and inspiring speakers of all times. And I hung close to the master of the field, like Earl Nightingale, Cabot Roberts, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rowan, Charlie Trendis Jones, Tony Robbins, and many others. And I've worked with almost all of them traveling around the world, literally. And when we weren't on stage, I asked endless questions of how they did it, how they marketed, how they spoke, how they thought, what the products they created, what was working. And I imitated till I could emulate them, then I could match them and surpass them, which in some ways I've done, right? I'm still actively at 74 years young speaking around the world. 
and getting hired to do the same. Number two, self-made millionaires each had mentors that guided them to their fullest potential. Mentors are necessary, whether they're living or dead. Now, you may have to read about the superstars of the past and make them your mentor. They're long since deceased, but you still got their books, their articles, their audios. Many times now we got reenacted videos of the best of the best. And let them become your mentor and you become their mentee and become enthralled with the person and trained in their energy and the wisdom of their output. And you got to apprehend it, comprehend it, and then decide to transcend it by standing on the shoulders of the greats that went before you. Now, there's a lot of giants out there. Truly great self-made millionaires, in my experience, desperately want to help other earnest-seeking people a real hand up, not a hand out. And today, Grant Cardone, one of the world's greatest and loudest self-promoting billionaires, says he wants to create more millionaires than any other person in history. I know Grant. I've been with him. He's sincere. I think he's going to continue to do amazing work and accomplish this worthy ideal and dream. Number three, self-made millionaires create great teams. A team is an acronym meaning together everyone accomplishes more or together everyone accomplishes miracles. Helen Keller was deaf and blind and her parents told her they ought to kill her because you can't do anything. But Annie Sullivan became her dedicated mentor, friend, and lifelong associate. And Helen went on to ultimately say, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. Now in the Bible, Deuteronomy 32.30 says, one can move a thousand, but two can move 10,000. When Jack and I decided to become a formidable force, we had 144 people reject the chicken soup for the soul ID and get all the pink slips and all the rejections and all that. Finally, a little health communications in Deerfield Beach, Florida, decided to publish and distribute her book if we guaranteed to buy 20,000 copies at $6 each, which we did because we wanted distribution. Well, so far, that book has grossed over $2 billion at retail and $1 billion in licensed products that I created at a retail level. With our teams, we made tens of millions of dollars over the 20 years, and the brand is still rocking with a major movie made called Best Seller with an Academy Award-winning actor named Michael Caine. Number four, self-made millionaires know that their net work becomes their net worth. Your net worth is a people that you know and that know you. As you look at your cell phone, your smartphone, scroll down to the very bottom and see how many people you really know. Most people only know 250 people, and that's how many attend the average funeral and the average wedding. My contact smartphone says that I currently have 10,180 contacts. I'm even astounded. Your job is to make contacts to get contracts by decision and design and desire. And you have to never eat a meal alone. Add at least one or more new names to your contacts every day for the rest of your life. No matter who you know, who knows you, and who you know that knows somebody that will favorably introduce you as a prestigious nominator to the folks that you want to meet, know, and ultimately do business with. There are more people out there that would love to meet you and help you in a smorgasbord of ways than you can even imagine. You have to possibly decide to courageously go out and meet and greet everyone with a smile and a handshake and an invitation to friend you. You can even launch your request negatively by saying, I presume the answer will be no. That takes them off the hook. However, I would like to be your friend and have you be mine. May I please have your contact information? And today that's all electronically. You can switch phones. You can do all sorts of cool stuff because there are lots of apps available. You'll find them. You now even have my full permission to become a full-fledged A-plus networker. You can even walk up to people you just want to meet and don't know and tell them, hey, look, Mark Victor Hansen recommended that we chat. Is now a good time or can you name another specific time and place for us to meet? My great late friend, Charlie Tremendous Jones, always said you're going to be the same person you are today, five years now, except for the people you meet and the books that you read. Decide to network with the best of the best people. They're now awaiting your arrival. Five, self-made millionaires think and dream big. Each of them saw themselves as a millionaire long before they became a gross or net millionaire. They thought about it day and night. 
The thought consumed them. They dreamed big, thought big, inwardly, outwardly became, and ultimately and inevitably grew big. They did all they could to associate with big dreamers, big doers, and those who accomplished great goals or that they wanted to accomplish. They knew the size of their dream would be the amount that they could accomplish. Now, Alexander the Great conquered what he thought was the known world. You can watch the videos on YouTube about him. He had the greatest teacher in Greece, Aristotle. Aristotle, of course, was a polymath and taught him all the subjects from medicine to geography. Trouble was, Aristotle thought and believed that the world was flat. That limited both their understanding and their outreach. The point is, even great big dreamers have limitations. You need to self-coach yourself to be an unlimited thinker. Because there's unlimited that you can do. Because all things are possible to him who believes. And you've got choice over your belief. Number six. Self-made millionaires prioritize their health. Wealth without health is useless. That's why health is the greatest asset, the greatest treasure. And you got to study it, treasure it, practice it as a top daily priority. All the good wealth in the world, you can't enjoy the experience and express it fully and completely if you're not healthy. Every priority has an anti-priority. Most wealth builders that I know exercise first thing in the morning to wake up their metabolic, supercharge their energy, de-stress, and give them strength to conquer all the odd obstacles that inevitably arise as they move actively through their day. I live in lovely Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm a member of a relatively expensive fitness center called the Village at DC Ranch. My wife and I love the village and the people working out there. My friend Michael Hamburger has said this is where all the business owners in Scottsdale work out and meet one another. Whereas 24-hour fitness is where all the people go to exercise at work for all the people that are fitness buffs here at the village. Interesting idea. Number seven, self-made millionaires create their own opportunities. Opportunities are infinite. Once you decide they are and tune into the perception of the fact and truth. That's why self-made millionaires own multiple businesses. Richard Branson owns 421 different companies. Elon Musk, seven major multi-billion dollar enterprises. Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway owns 65 companies, etc., etc. Each person makes mightily successful businesses, but starts one, succeeds at it, and then creates MSIs, multiple sources of incomes a term coined in 1988 by Bob Proctor and myself. Now, having MSIs or multiple sources of income makes you less vulnerable to the vicissitudes of life and business. The time word statement is, find a need and fill it from Bernard Baruch, who made a fortune as an American financier statement and was one of the richest men of his time and became a business philosopher. Today, just find one problem that you can uniquely solve for a high margin profit. Do it, scale the business, become vastly rich. That's how and why to develop a millionaire mindset.